Hey everyone, this video is to just go over uh, the feature for Formative um, Upload and Transform. It's a really great feature, so let me show you how to do it. Upload and Transform in Formative.com is a fantastic um, tool for you to use in your classroom, especially for things that you've already had made up. Basically, you're going to upload a PDF into the actual assessment tool. So just go quickly upload and transform. I'm going to go ahead and pick out a file that I already have open here. Now with a PDF when you import it you only can import a PDF that has up to five pages. If it has more than that you'll have to separate it or um, modify it before you upload it into uh, Formative. Now here's my PDF. And as you can see, it looks just like a normal paper test that we're used to giving. So let me show you how easy this is. I'm just simply going to go ahead and click on number one. When I click there, it's going to prompt me what do I want to do. Well, I have a missing blank or a question, part of a question here. So I'm going to add a question. I'm going to add short answer. So that is for number one, what you're going to have to do. For number two, I'm going to put it right over the question number two, add a qu uh, question, and I'm going to add a multiple choice question. Well, the multiple choice is already there, and let's say the correct answer was C. Um, question number three, I'm going to go hover right over the three. I can put it anywhere I want. Multiple choice, we have another multiple choice already, and I'm going to hit the answer. Correct answer is A. I don't have to type the question in because it already is up there. And uh, I'm going to do the same for question four add a question. I'm going to go ahead and say multiple choice again. Correct answer is B. And then down here I've got a short answer. So I'm just going to go ahead and click right here in the middle. Add a question. Short answer. Done. And then for down here um, I'm going to go ahead and it says you have to tell me if this is a fact or opinion. So right beside it for this particular case, I'm just going to go add a question, and I'm going to do multiple choice, and then I'm just going to go fact for that one, and opinion for this one, and I'm going to get rid of these two choices because I only need two choices total. So gerbils need fresh water every day is a fact. I'm going to select fact and done. Basically, I would go through and do the same. Um, you can create any type of um, pattern you want. Now, you did not used to be able to do this before, but now you can juggle the question around. If you wanted to position itself over here, over here, you can do that. So let's go back up to the top. Let's check it out what the student view is under preview. In preview mode, you're going to see what the student would see when they open it up. So they go ahead and open it up, and as they click on question two, they have to select A, B, C, or D. So in this passage, paragraph five is mostly about, they click on here, then they select the answer that they, they want. So if I were to have my whole class do this, let me show you how I would assign it. This is how simple it is, especially if you have Google Classroom. I can assign it by clicking on the Assign tab. Loads itself up. Now, I can go ahead and click on everyone here. I can have the kids just type the code in here. They go to um, goformative.com backslash join. They can go there or you can drop that link into Edmodo or Symbaloo or Google Classroom. They can click on the link and then they just have to key in this code. If you already are using Google Classroom, here's the kicker. You just click on Google Classroom, post it to your classroom, and here is your sign-in sheet right up here for how you would normally sign your, assign your Google assignments. So I'm going to choose my class and choose my action. I'm going to create an assignment and I'm going to hit go. They've already uploaded and transformed is the name of the assessment that I did. I can schedule a due date, a topic if I want. Um, and then I could go ahead and just hit assign. So that's how simple it is to upload and transform some existing things that you already have, how to assign it to your class either with Google Classroom or the link, and 
as you can see, it took no time at all to create that. Now, when you want to see the results, you're going to go to Live Results. Obviously, the no questions have been answered. If you want to see the single question, the question will be up here, and you'll be able to see the children's responses. You'll also be getting the total here. And then you can flip from question to question this way. If you just wanted a, a straight up visual, change it to a summary view. And in the summary view, you're going to have like little boxes. Next, you'll have the child's name on the left hand side, and a red box if it's incorrect, a green box if it is um, correct, red if it's not correct. So those are the two views you have right here. And I'm telling you that when they're doing the draw feature, you can sit here and click through your questions and you can watch them drawing their answers. I can give this during a small group where I'm in the back of the reading center working with kids and if kids are out there working independently on one of these, I can click through very quickly and I can say, okay, question three, everyone's answered up to question three. Everyone's gone through question five except for two kids. Questions five and six. Uh-oh. I can see which two kids haven't answered. So I quickly can say, so-and-so, you need to get your answers in. You need to work or focus. So it's a great way of monitoring your kids for with a quick bird's eye view. And another way you can do that would be with a summary view. You can really see who is on top of it and who is not. And if the kids are lagging off and being slackers, you can catch them really quick. Hope that's helpful. Give it a shot. It's really easy. All you need is a PDF, and you can do this one. And this is the one I wish I learned first, but it was the one that I learned how to do last. Have fun.